What are the most common birds at your feeder? This video counts down the 10 most common feeder birds in Michigan. To make this video, I use data from eBird. These are the most frequently seen feeder birds in the state on average. If you're new to bird identification, you can use this list as a guide to what birds you can expect at your feeders. If you already know the common birds at your feeder, leave me a note in the comments and tell me how your feeders differ from the state average. Song Sparrow. Song sparrows are widespread across North America. These birds summer from southern Alaska and across Canada to the Ohio River Valley and in the west to southern California and Arizona. In winter, most birds leave Canada and the northern Great Plains, except for a population in western Canada. The winter birds push south to Florida and Texas into northern Mexico. These birds are found in a wide variety of brushy habitats. They are found in open woodlands, marshes, and backyards landscaped with large bushes and brambles. They spend a lot of time hopping on the ground looking for food. They eat insects and invertebrates in summer, but mostly seeds in winter. They are a bit smaller than house sparrows. They have a round body, round head, and longer tail with a rounded tip. The bill is triangular, short and thick at the base. Across their range, these birds show much variation. Desert birds are paler. Northwestern birds are dark and reddish. Alaskan birds are much larger. In general, they are gray, streaked with brown, with breast streaks forming a center spot on the breast. The pattern of the head is complex, but rather diagnostic. The white throat is bordered by a flaring lateral throat stripe. Genders are identical. Song sparrows will visit platform feeders, but more likely stay under dense bushes, venturing out on the ground below the feeders. Red-bellied woodpecker. Red-bellied woodpeckers are one of the common woodland birds in the east. These birds are year-round residents from the northeast to the Midwest and south from Florida to eastern Texas. They aren't too picky in their choice of trees. They are found in deciduous and conifer forests. They may be found in parks and neighborhoods with mature trees. Learn and listen for their loud rolling chur call. You may find they are more common than you first thought. These birds are a bit larger than European starlings. They are stocky with large head and short wedge-shaped tails. The bills are long, straight, and chisel-shaped. The upper parts, including the back and wings, are covered with thin black and white bars. The head and underparts are pale tan or gray. They have white rumps and black tails with barred outer tail feathers. Males have red crowns from their bill to their back. Some also show a reddish wash to their belly. Females have red crowns from the top of their head back with gray forecrowns. At feeders, red-bellied woodpeckers love suet and also eat peanuts. White-breasted nuthatch. White-breasted nuthatches are the largest of four nuthatch species in North America. These birds are year-round residents across southern Canada and all but deserts and treeless areas of the United States, south into the mountains of Mexico. They are found primarily in mature deciduous woods, but also dry pine forests in the interior west. As with all nuthatches, these active little birds crawl over the trunk and limbs looking for bark insects. Their strong feet allow them to hang on to bark in any position. You'll frequently see them crawling headfirst down the tree or upside down around a branch. These birds are a bit smaller than house sparrows. They are chunky birds with big heads on short necks. They have stumpy little tails. Their legs are strong and feet large. Their bill is fairly slender and sharp pointed. They are blue-gray on the upper parts with black crown and hind neck. The underparts, including the face, are white with rusty feathers in the vent area. Males are more blue on the upper parts and have blacker caps. Females are more gray and have paler caps. At your feeder, white-breasted nuthatches love suet and peanuts. They may take seeds from the feeder to cache away in the bark of trees to eat later in the winter. Have you seen the birds just discussed? Congratulations! If not, here are some slightly more common birds that you certainly will see. And keep watching to the end because I'll tell you about a bigger list of backyard birds that includes not just those that come to feeders. 
Downy Woodpecker Downy woodpeckers are tiny and common visitors to backyards across the United States. These woodpeckers inhabit nearly all of North America south of the tundra and away from the driest deserts. They like small deciduous trees, willows, and brush. They're common in backyards. Like other woodpeckers, these birds hitch up small trees. However, they often cling to the small outer branches. They even hang on twigs and small bushes such as wild rose and teasel. They are bigger than house finches, smaller than red-winged blackbirds, but shaped differently than either. These birds have stocky bodies and big heads. They have short, stiff, pointed tails. The legs are short. The feet are large with strong claws. The bills of these woodpeckers are chisel-shaped, but especially short and petite. The overall pattern of these birds is black and white stripes. The wings are black with numerous white spots and bars. The back is white. The underparts are white or tinged with buff. The face is white. The crown and nape is black. The ear cover black. And there's a black malar stripe. The tail is black with white outer tail feathers. Males have a red spot on the nape that females lack. Downy woodpeckers eat suet at your feeder. Red-winged blackbird. Red-winged blackbirds are common birds across North America. In summer, they are found from Alaska across Canada, south into Mexico. In winter, they abandon much of Canada and the northern Great Plains and Midwest. They nest in marshes in summer where there are cattails and similar plants. In winter, they spread out into fields, cattle lots, and residential neighborhoods. These birds are colonial nesters in cattail marshes. In fall and winter, they form very large flocks composed of many young of the year, starlings, grackles, cowbirds, and other blackbirds. Such flocks can number into the hundreds of thousands, especially in the east. These birds are about the size of American robins, perhaps a bit smaller. They are stocky with a fairly long tail. They have rather flat foreheads that accentuate the long bill bill is fairly stout at the base, long, pointed, and straight on the upper and lower edges. Males are glossy black with yellow-edged red shoulders that can be hidden in the scapular feathers when the wings are at rest. Females are a bit smaller than males. They are pale with heavy brown streaks on the underparts. Some populations show buff on the face. They may confuse beginners into thinking they are some kind of a streaky sparrow. The flat crown and very straight and sharply pointed bill point to their identification as blackbirds. At your feeder, they will eat black oil sunflower seeds and suet. American Goldfinch American goldfinches are favorite backyard birds across North America. Many people call them wild canaries. These active birds are year-round residents coast to coast across northern and mid-latitudes of the United States. In summer, birds move into southern Canada. In winter, birds are found throughout the United States. They are found in weedy pastures and brushy clearings. In town, they favor parks and residential areas with lawns and scattered trees. They often feed on thistles or dandelion seeds on the ground, but they also fly over open spaces between trees with a bounding roller coaster flight and a lilting potato chip call. These are small birds, smaller than house finches. They are rather plump birds with large round heads and short tails. The bill is small, but it is conical for eating seeds. It is colored pink. Summer males are striking with their brilliant yellow and black plumage. The body is yellow and they have a black crown. The wings and tail feathers are black and white. Females are duller olive green without the black crown. They have thin white wing bars. Juvenile birds in fall show striking tan wing bars on the black wing. In winter, both genders are pale gray and tan with brown wings and tail. They may only show a hint of yellow on the head and throat. At your feeder, American goldfinches love black oil sunflower seeds and niger seeds. They are especially common at feeders in summer and fall. Morning Dove 
The mournful summer song of morning doves is familiar to most, even if they don't know what bird makes the sound. They are found across the United States as year-round residents. Birds summer in the northern Great Plains and south-central Canada, but withdraw in the winter. These birds are found in towns and farms, in open country with scattered trees, often along rivers. In spring, they sing from power lines in residential areas. They may puff out their chests while cooing from the peak of your roof. These birds are much larger than European starlings, but also much smaller than American crows. These birds have large, powerful breasts, a tiny round head on thin neck, and long pointed tail. Their wings are somewhat pointed in flight. The bill is small, as typical for all pigeons. Genders are identical. These birds are warm tan or brown colored. The breast has a pinkish hue. The wings are gray. They have a few large black spots on the wing covert. They have a black spot on the side of the neck below the cheek that sometimes shows some iridescent green. The tail has white edges, best seen in flight. At your bird feeder, morning doves eat all types of seeds. They are also attracted to water for drinking and bathing. Okay, we've reached the three most common birds in Michigan. Can you guess what they are? Could you do me a favor, my friend? If this video has been useful to you, can you click the like button so that YouTube will show it to more people? Thank you. Northern Cardinal Northern Cardinals are one of the most popular birds in the United States. Even people who haven't seen one in life have seen their image on logos and advertisements. These birds are year-round residents from the northeastern United States south to Florida, west to the Midwest, and southern Great Plains to Arizona. They are found in woodlands, hedgerows, and dense backyard shrubs. Both males and females sing a series of repeated whistles. These birds are less bulky than European starlings, but just as long. They have a very long tail and big head with tall crest. The bill is very thick at the base, short with curved edges. It is usually obviously orange. Males are bright red throughout with hints of blue on the wings, tail, and back. They have a black throat patch that reaches to the eye and over the bill. Females are dull brown or buffy yellow in coloration with red highlights on the edges of the wings and tail. Their crest isn't quite as pronounced as the males they still show the black around the bill. Northern cardinals eat larger seeds at your feeder, including black oil sunflower seeds and safflower seeds. Blue Jay. Blue Jays are one of the most well-known birds in the United States. Birds are found year-round east of the Rocky Mountains from southern Canada to Texas and eastward. There's a noticeable migration of some of their population in most of their range. Birds move northward into the Great Plains of Canada for the summer. Though they are found in woodlands of all types, they are especially attracted to oak trees. They are common in residential areas too. Brash and conspicuous, blue jays have a complex social structure. The more the crest is raised, the more excited or agitated the bird is. Jays are fairly large backyard birds. They are just a bit larger than American robins. These are stout birds with large rounded or wedge-shaped tails. They have large legs and feet and they have a bushy crest. The bill is fairly long and strong. Genders are similar in plumage. They are blue above including the crest. They are gray below with a black necklace across the throat. The wings are barred with black with white wing bars and trailing edges. The blue tail is barred with black and has white tail corners. At your feeder, Blue Jays love whole peanuts and sunflower seeds. Black-capped chickadees. The cute black-capped chickadees must be one of the favorite birds at feeders across much of North America. They are year-round residents in Alaska and across Canada south across the northern half of the United States. These birds are found in deciduous and mixed woods, orchards, and backyards. They feed in small flocks acrobatically on the end of twigs searching for invertebrates and small seeds. In winter, they make up the core of roaming mixed feeding flocks. These flocks include chickadees, kinglets, nuthatches, and often include brown creepers, downy woodpeckers, yellow-rumped warblers, and wrens. 
These are small birds, smaller than house finches. They are about the same length as American goldfinches. The bodies of chickadees are round and plump. They have big heads and long tails that flit about. They have long legs and big feet. The bills are short and stout. This allows them to eat both seeds and invertebrate foods. These birds are gray above and buffy below. They have striking black caps and bibs, offset by their white face. You may also notice the white secondary wing edges of the folded wing. Genders are identical in appearance. At your feeder, black-capped chickadees love black oil sunflower seeds. They take these one at a time to a nearby branch. They hold the seed with their feet and pound the shell open with their bill to get the kernel inside. In fall, they often take the whole seed away and store it for the winter in what's called a cache. There you have it, the 10 most common feeder birds in Michigan. Were you surprised? Tell me. If you want a bigger list of the common backyard birds in Michigan, you'll find a link in the description. And enjoy your feeder birds.